Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. Last we left off, we were going around and touching base with all of our companions. Now, there is a Kunari standing around here. Um... You look familiar, Kunari. Yeah. Talva Shaw, once of the wounded coast, I had left my fellows. You convinced me to turn on them. It was long ago. I am now Maras, mercenary of Kirkwall. Time has been kind to your name, champion. You chose your name? Does Maras mean something? It means nothing. I have no role, except for what I choose. Is that good or bad? It just is. Interesting. Do you hold a grudge? Do I have to worry about this old scar? I felt no kinship to those dead when they lived. You pushed, but the killing was my choice. But... It led to many more, for many reasons. So no, you and I are not... I never friends. convinced you to do that. Anyway, there are few of you left. I'm surprised to see any Kunari or Talvashoth in the city. The Kunari died with the Arishak, as they believed they were meant to. Many Talvashoth were also killed, just in case. Time has calmed those fears. Now I am hired as much for my appearance as my skill. Life is comfortably empty. I see the appeal. On that note, goodbye. Farewell then. Paneheda Sira Hawk. He sounds very at peace with himself. No, I could have sworn. Maybe. Yes. Anyway. Face it. We also have to touch base with Fenris see how he's doing three years later my guess he's still not happy hey Fenris are you certain it's her an elf matching your description on the ship you named and alone as far as I could tell I need to know if it's a trap I did as you asked Fenris now it's up to you. You talk to him, Hawk. I've had my fill for today. I see. Then he is fast of us. What's wrong? Maybe I can help, Fenris. <sighs> it's my sister. I didn't tell you, but I followed up on Hadriana's information. Everything she said was true. I had to keep it quiet, but I eventually contacted Verania and sent her coin enough to come meet me. And now she's here. Where did you find her? She was in Carinus after all. My sister left Magister Araman's service, and I found her in Minrathus. That made hmm. things more difficult. But according to the men I paid, it's just as Hadriana said. She's not a slave. She's a tailor, in fact. Getting a letter to her was difficult, and she didn't believe me at first. But she's finally come. And do you think it's a trap? You're worried Daenerys knows. The more it seems he doesn't know, the more certain I become he does. Come with me, Hawk. If this is a trap, I need someone who can fight to back me up. Are you sure? I thought you said there was no point in meeting her. I can't simply leave it like this. I have to know. If we go to the Hanged Man during the day, she'll be there, for the next week at least. I know you owe me no favors, but if we happen to go there anyway... Alone. Well. <sighs> what say you we go and take care of that? If she's here, we really should. So, sorry, Aveline. We'll see you in a bit. Oh, and Fenris has to level as well. And he's still very much a rival. Which is good. Okay. So, back we go to the Hanged Man. During the day. For... Alone. It really is you. Verania? I... I remember you. We played in our master's courtyard while mother worked. 
You called me. Leto. That's your name. Leto? What's wrong? Why are you so... Oh, shit. We need to run. Fenris, we have to get out of here. Ah, my little Fenris. Predictable as always. I'm sorry it came to this, Leto. No. You led him here. Now, now, Fenris. Don't blame your sister. She did what any good Imperial citizen should. I never wanted these filthy markings, Daenerys. But I won't let you kill me to get them. <laughs> How little you know, my pet. And this is your new mistress, then. The champion of Kirkwall. Quite lovely. Take him? Seriously? <laughs> we can negotiate and time to die. But no, he's no one's slave. Fenris doesn't belong to anyone. Do I detect a note of jealousy? Jealousy? <laughs> not surprising. The lad is rather skilled. Skilled? Shut your mouth, Daenerys. <sighs> the word is master. Am I the only one who detected a hint that that he was doing something to Fenris that he really shouldn't have? God damn it. Why? Hey, 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 I'm clicking. I know that we can't attack him. I realize why. But still, it's kind of ridiculous that we're attacking all of these people. Oh, he summoned demons. That's just great. Uh, yeah, we're not leaving you behind. Calm down, hun. We're right here. God damn it. Fuck you, Daenerys. For so many reasons. Ugh. And actually, that character fully disgusts me. Because, uh... What I was suggesting? Yeah. God damn you, Daenerys. Yeah. Technically, he did exactly that to Fenris. And yeah. You are no longer my master. Oh. I had no choice, Leto. Stop calling me that. He was going to make me his apprentice. I would have been a Magister. You sold out your own brother to become a Magister? Your sister's a mage? You bloody hypocrite. You really are just jealous. You have no idea what we went through. What I've had to do since Mother died. This was my only chance. And now you have no chance at all. Whoa, hey. Please, don't do this. Please, tell him to stop. She did betray him, but... Fenris, stop. Wait. Don't kill her. Why not? She was ready to see me killed. What is she to me other than just one more tool of the Magisters? She's your sister. This is your family, Fenris. Get out. You said you didn't ask for this, but that's not true. What? You wanted it. You competed for it. When you won, you used the boon to have Mother and I freed. Why are you telling me this? Freedom was no boon. I look on you now, and I think you received the better end of the bargain. 
I thought discovering my past would bring a sense of belonging, but I was wrong. Magic has tainted that too. There is nothing for me to reclaim. I am alone. You're blaming magic? Magic has nothing to do with this, Fenris. No. Greed for it didn't bring Daenerys here. Make my sister betray me? You heard what Verania said. I wanted these. I fought for them. I feel unclean. Like this magic is not only etched into my skin, but has also stained my soul. Let's go. I need to get out of here. I'm going to guess he's probably going to want to die. Oh. Yeah, that pissed him off. Curious of the Centurion. <sighs> You're not nearly as selfish as you pretend. Hey, you take that back. You had your relic. You were gone. There was no reason for you to come back and face the Canari. I still don't have a ship. I thought I could get one. From a bunch of shipwrecked Canari? <laughs> From the Viscount. I just got here late. I always knew you had a heart of gold. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> okay, that was Almost cute. Almost everything here is stolen from someone else. And how do you know this? Hmm. Okay, don't need that, don't need that. Don't need these at all. Veracity. Not bad. But I'm not getting rid of what I've already got. Tyne. Don't need that. Equitarian robes, surface or stone. Okay, definitely don't need that. Um, or that. I've got the gloves of the champion, which is nice. Gloves of the overseer. Don't need that. Don't da 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 da. Get out of me inventory. Ye. Gaudy amethyst pendant. Don't need that. Polished white wood amulet. Nah. Pretty little thing. Oh. Twice blessed ring? Ah. Do 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 do. Emptying out the inventory. Oh, and I never used my rock armor portion. Ah, uh, potion. Person. Oh, and then, did you have anything special? No, you didn't. I did check that, I just ignored it for some reason. Kunari sword! That's one. We still have several that we need to find. Okay, just checking if there was anything out that way. But I think we need to have a chat with Fenris. So let's once again go back to his estate and see how he's doing. After all, we did just finish his personal quest. Fenris? Hawk? Fenris? What is it? Fenris? Hawk? Fenris? Hawk? <sighs> Fine! If you're gonna be stubborn about it, get out of my party. Why am I going to the wrong door? But anyway, we do need we do need to go to town again. I can walk. Totally. I can't believe you're still not taking sides. I told you, I only like to be on top. <laughs> I mean, against the Templars. You like freedom, right? You hate slavery. Why wouldn't you side with the mages? Maybe I just don't like you. Oh snap! Totally deserved, though. And anything special? No, nothing special. Which actually reminds me, how do the Equitarian robes look? Cute. And Curious of the Centurion? <laughs> Not useful at all. <sighs> I'm going to save the Gloves of the Champion for later. Hmm. 
And we do have to visit with Gamlin, but I'll save that for just a moment, because I actually heard that there is supposed to be someone in here. I wish we could do without places like this. I really do. That there's supposed to be someone in here that we are familiar with. Hmm. What? Champion? Oh. It's Leha. Do you remember me? You saved me from that murderer when I was a kid. Sorry, Captain. I don't mean to. Not at all. Go on. What? I wanted to say thank you. I wasn't thinking straight the day you saved me. That monster deserved what he got. Captain? Dismissed. She's joined the guard? She joined the guard a few months back. She's got a good understanding of what we're up against. So it's true. Good. I'm glad to hear that, actually. I never got resolution to that story from her end. <sighs> what a sweet, touching, somewhat finale for her. Sort of. Anyway, since we're in the area, let's go visit Gamlin, dearest. Always remember where you started, Hawk. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm not stupid. Oh, Gamlin. How are you doing, buddy? So, you've done well for yourself. Yes. I had my doubts the first time I saw you, but I guess there was something to that hawk fellow Leandra ran off with after all. <laughs> he certainly produced an amazing daughter. Your mother would be proud. Oh, that's actually very sweet. I miss mother. I just wish mother had lived to see me become champion. I know, Leandra. And she'd be absolutely glowing from all the praise that's been heaped on you. I don't say this often, but we're the only family we've both got left. For a long time, I thought the Amel line in Kirkwall would end at me. I'm glad you've pulled it out of the grave. Oh, that's actually very sweet. Definitely not what I would have expected out of Gamlin since the start of the game. I hear you moved that apostate boy into your house. You really are your mother's daughter. Now that I would have expected. <laughs> A crumpled note. Gamlin. I found the gem of Koroshek. The gem. Wow, what the fuck. If you want it, come to Darktown. Alone. Leave that alone. There are things in my life that don't actually involve you, you know. Stay out of my business, girl. Oh? That note mentioned the gem of Karoshek. What's that? It's nothing. Never mind. Can I help? If you're worried about who sent the note, I can go in your place. Did I ask for that? I don't know who sent it, and I don't want to. I lost everything chasing that gem. Our fortune, our home, even Mara. Mara? Who's Mara? She's... None of your concern. That's who she is. Oh. Why don't you head mm -hmm. back to your fancy house in Hightown and stay out of my damn business? No. Because... Because I don't feel like it, Gamlin. It's time for Hawk to meddle. Your husband agrees with me. About what? He thinks the Knight Commander's mad. He told me she's gone behind your back to investigate guardsmen she suspects as secret mages. Even if that were true, he wouldn't tell you. He won't fight for her when the time comes. Would you turn against your own husband? I don't know if you're lying or crazy. Hmm. He could be a bit of both there, Aveline. Hard to say. Oh, looks like we have something to do in Darktown. Lyrene's Ferelden imports. Let's check with that. The lot of Ferelden's here has improved since your rise, champion. I'd be honored to sell you anything in the store. Oh. 
considerably different attitude from when we first came in here. Design Rune of Frost. We may as well take the design. No reason not to. We've got 367 gold, jeez. And a crate. I'm not going to take the torn trousers away from these poor people. Gosh. What's up, Lyrene? The lot of okay. Has since you already said that, so I'm not going to bother any further with that. Um, I've already checked with you and what you've got. Vincento is gone. So, Donick was in the rose. He was not. Easy, big girl. He wasn't shopping for himself. You're lucky to have a man who wants to please you. But maybe you could indulge him more. Are there areas of intimacy you haven't explored? Not your business. Why? Why do you give me these doubts? Aveline, if you shove your thumb up his ass, I win. Just... no. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was definitely not expecting that. Ah, yes, Sebastian has some doubts and wants to talk with us. So it seems. You didn't come to my solstice dinner party. Look at you. Dinner parties, cooking. Do you have a lace apron yet, or should I get one for you? Don't change the subject. I sent you an invitation and you didn't show up. I thought it would be... I mean, I don't know. I just don't do family gatherings. Besides, one day you and Donick will have children and I'll be the last person you want around them. Imagine all the awkward questions you'd have to answer. Mother, what's a slattern? I'll just point at you and say, that's a slattern. <laughs> interesting interesting sort of response but um you've done a great service all righty so sebastian the first enchanter overstepped his bounds oh did he Was provoked the people want to know which side you favor it weakens you Strength will not win this fight, Sebastian. If the Maker is merciful, he will help them find peace. We can only be waiting when they do. Hmm. Well, before I start this conversation, since I know that it tends to run a little bit long, I'm going to cut the video here and hope to see you next time on Let's Play Dragon Age 2, where we talk with Sebastian and find out exactly what he's talking about. And one of the more interesting quests of the game, actually. A lot of them happen this act. But anyway, hope to see you then.